What's up guys, Matthew Monis here and today I'm reviewing the Moto Z2 Play. This is the second generation of Motorola's popular mid-range phone that they released last year. The biggest difference this year is that it's in a thinner design, has a slightly better camera and a brand new or slightly brand new design. But is it still worth it? Let's find out. So the biggest difference between this year's model and last year's model is actually the design of the phone. Last year it was one millimeter thicker, but they decided to shave off a millimeter and made it a little bit thinner to hold in the hand. Now there's obviously consequences with that, you're going to lose some battery life, which I'll talk about later, but overall it feels really nice. Now one thing you're going to notice with the Moto Z Play is that there's actually no water resistance whatsoever, which is fine, I don't expect water resistance to be on this phone, it's a mid-range device. But there, it is splash proof, which is good, and it's also dust resistant, which is nice as well. The fingerprint scanner on last year's model didn't have capacitive buttons beside it. So what they did this year with the new fingerprint scanner, which is great by the way, is they allowed you to use gestures on the fingerprint scanner to move around the operating system. So you can get rid of those on-screen buttons and you can have more screen real estate when you use the phone. There's an audio jack, thank God. I know they removed it on the regular Moto Z, but it's still here even though they made the phone thinner, so you can still use it with your headphones. And of course, you can still connect those awesome mods that you could last year. Motorola tends to uh, allow you to connect those mods for up to three years. It's the second year, which kind of has me worried. What's gonna happen after three years? Are they gonna redesign the phones and then redesign the mods? Because the biggest problem right now is the phone feels really big compared to the latest phones that are currently on the market. They have reduced bezels, they've reduced the size in your hand, so it's a lot easier to hold. So don't expect too much of a difference when it comes to sound quality. It's not using a mono speaker on the bottom of the phone. It's not using dual speakers. It's still using that same front facing speaker which is on the front of the device. It's good. I give Motorola, I commend Motorola for having it on the front so it faces you, but it's still not the loudest speaker on the market. Now, I wanna talk about the performance for a bit. It's using the new Snapdragon 626 processor which is about 15 to 17% faster than last year's Snapdragon 625. You probably won't notice that much of a difference in terms of performance, but it performs well for everyday tasks like checking your email, browsing the web, and even playing games. I think this is a great phone to get stuff done, and that's exactly what you're going to do with this phone. Software is still the same, and I love what Motorola does with software. They keep everything nice and clean with stock Android, and they only add a few tweaks that are actually useful. So you still have all the typical stuff like shake your wrist to turn on the camera, chop twice to turn on the fat flashlight, and a few call features when you place the phone on a desk or pick it up. I just like the fact that they're keeping things simple, and I think most people will appreciate it when they use the device, and this obviously contributes to great performance. So the screen on the Z2 Play is still 1080p, it's full HD, but it's AMOLED and it's not that bright. So when you're outdoors in the sunlight, you're going to have to really crank up the brightness to see everything, but it's still a fine screen. I think most people will be happy with it. The Snapdragon 626 inside is not powerful enough for a 4K display, but honestly, 5.5 inches, 1080p, totally fine. So that camera, that's one of the things they improved this year on the Moto Z2 Play. It's a little bit better. They actually reduced the megapixels down from 13 to 12, so don't think it's actually worse because it's not. But they also increased the aperture to f1.7, so technically you should get a little bit better low light. Do you actually get better low light? Well, not really because there's no optical image stabilization and you can kind of notice that in the photos. But overall, it's a passable camera, but it's not a great camera and I think most people will be happy with it. Battery life. So this is what made the Moto Z last year. This is what everyone raved about. It had two day battery life. You can go on forever. I think it was around 3,500 milliamps. This year it's a little bit smaller just because they reduced the size of the phone and it's still good, but you're not gonna get that amazing two day battery life. You're gonna get around a day to about a day and a half before needing to charge. Now the one thing I haven't talked about was the mods. A lot of people buy this phone because they think the mods are a great idea. And I think they're really cool and no one's doing it better than Motorola right now. Whether you find it useful is all your own personal preference, but half the things you buy, you can buy as a third party accessory and use it with all your devices instead of just using it with, with your Moto Z Play device. So for example, if you have a Bluetooth speaker, why buy a Bluetooth speaker just for the Moto Z, which costs more when you can buy a separate Bluetooth speaker and use it with all your devices. So here's the bottom line. The Moto Z2 Play is still a fantastic smartphone. It does all the basics right for a mid-range phone. Good display, still has good battery life even though it's not as great as last year, has decent sound, and of course you have those awesome mods that add a unique feel to the phone compared to everything else that's out there. 
but it's $500, which puts it in line with the OnePlus 5. And the OnePlus 5 offers a lot of great features as well, and a lot more performance. So is the Moto Z2 Play still worth it? I wanna hear what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.